Makeup on made myself look a little bit jazzed up today. Look cute, you know. Yeah. Anyways, uh, it's been a while since I filmed like some serious reaction videos. Like I feel like I've just been in this space in my life where I finish exams and I just mentally want to stimulate my mind in doing absolutely nothing and procrastinating life. But anyways, um, today's reaction video, I don't know if you guys know this, but I am literally a nerd, like, nerd nerd, like, dead serious, um, and I'm also a cartoon and, like, I like things that people wouldn't think that I like, and I am in love, in love with Game of Thrones, okay? I literally couldn't wait for season 8 to come. I've watched all the seasons. At first I was like, nah, nah, nah. but then when I was on residence, one of my roommates, quick story, one of my roommates, Melissa, hey girl, hey, if you watching this? We used to watch like Breaking Bad and all of these like shows and I went to school up north in the countryside. That says it above. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, she was from kind of a closer part from where I live like I live city city and she kind of lived a little bit city a little country so she had like the best of both worlds and um, we used to just like watch movies and stuff like that and they actually introduced me to Game of Thrones but I was not a fan I was like Ugh, please I'd rather go to the mall but I couldn't because there was no malls around like that was me at the time um, but then one day I was bored and I had nothing to do and I think they played an episode on the, on the TV, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, and it was very captivating to me. It was the episode with um, Jamie where he threw the sun off the balcony. So, yeah, that definitely would captivate anybody. And then from there, I watched the season before it so I can understand what's going on, and then I've just been hooked ever since. And eight seasons later like the night king is destroyed to all of those who seen game of thrones just so you know obviously um and uh yeah i'm just wondering what they're gonna do with cersei like they're she's she's wicked she's so wicked like but she's very smart like if it were me and i was her like i could understand because it's like i'm not gonna spare my men like you guys take care of your war you guys save everybody's life and I know you got to save everybody's life anyways. If we die, we die. It is what it is. And then uh, when you're done saving the war, because I know you guys are not going to give up, then whatever is remaining of you guys can come and fight me to try to take my throne. But I'm not giving up my throne. I don't care if the Night King comes and I'm dead. I'd rather be dead on my throne. Like, she is just... Whoa. <laughs> um, but anyways, today's song is actually inspired by Game of Thrones. It's part of the season 8 album and it is SZA featuring The Weeknd and Travis Scott. The song is Power is Power. Okay, so let's just get straight into the song. It is an audio. There is no music video for it. So we'll be listening together with each other. Okay. Together in Paris. Oh, it is kind of like a music video, but not really. Oh, I love him. Oh my gosh. The nearest is like my favorite. <laughs> I wish I could go back. I'm gonna watch all the seasons. <laughs> I 
I took a drag out the gates. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, one second. Hello? Let's get back to Travis Scott. You sounding like Kanye West. <laughs> I love SCA's voice. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> I'm in love. I told you guys, I'm a Game of Thrones like fanatic. Also, just a disclaimer. <laughs> If you haven't seen Game of Thrones, at least season three, um, or at least like episode three, season eight, I'm sorry because I just kind of spoiled it. But um, if you have, then you have, okay? At this point, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, ride or die, you've, you've seen it. No excuses. Anyways, I'm going to put the original link to the song down below so you guys can check it out. I love this song. It's one of my favorites. Um, and I definitely love this show. I wish it can go, like, to, like, 12 seasons. I don't know why they're stopping the seasons. If anybody is a hardcore, like, hardcore Game of Thrones fan, knows the directors, editors, everything, producers, writers, everything, uh, let me know why they're stopping it at only eight seasons. Like, they could literally prolong this more. I thought they were going to make this, like, a long trilogy where it's, like, okay they fight the night king and then the next and the next and the next and the next and the next but i think maybe it's getting a little prolonged maybe it's like somebody has to become king but i feel like with game of thrones and realistically the king always goes through battles and they're always like being tested so i feel like technically like they're gonna go through things you know what i mean so I don't feel like they should end it now, but you never know, they might end the season and then it might miraculously come back up in another time or whatever, so, yeah. Anyways guys, I'll put the original link down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace.